We're live at Skinny B. Johnson Stadium in International Speedway in Barron Gristlejock, Georgia, where dreams go to die. The crowd is drunk, impatient, and demanding explosions. So let's go down to the field before they burn this place to the ground again. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The San Francisco 49 Bears battle, the Yorks of Hazard. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey man, she's on the now. You know what <laughs> It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down Greek street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, man. First and eight to go. QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's... And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And that'll be second and eight to go. A great throw and a great catch. But sadly... Man, what a hit that was. kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. And that'll be second. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps offside to kill him. <laughs> down and two. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of 
good kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Nine, nine, one, nine. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. to the races he's at the 20 he's at the 10 and the defense is on his heels <laughs> don't want to make any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for god's sake goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Man, he shuffled his feet so well on that. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the key. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. First and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went in the woods. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Ah, uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Third down and... 
The punter is warming up. And there's another. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, win, but my watch is a bit slow. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. down and long. Boom! Dead and down! He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said! Ah, ah, didn't work that time. He's close, though. Yep. First and ten. At this point, with multiple. Ouch! Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. Cereal, the old nut crunch. First and eight to go. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Second down and five. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. Yeah. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Quinn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And it's first and ten. 
much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, there's no QB. He don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Refuses to go down. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the line, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Done for a first down. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, man. It's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, oh, nice hit. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second down and seven. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. Third down and ten. And he reels that 
one in for a first down to keep the boom dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, my vacuum cleaner can dance better than that. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death. Grim. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback could be hurting, or dead, or worse. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third down and forever. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. 
and as expected, those are pretty much just... The Orcs of Hazard had their butts, hands, and heads handed to them today. They lose by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Final game stands are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.